Welcome to the instructional video on the use of the Endoserter Corneal Endothelium Delivery Instrument. Open the package and handle the device using standard serial procedures. Hold the device by the body and remove the white plastic platform card by gently pulling it down and away from the carrier end of the device. Do not remove the black locking guard from the endoserter until ready to insert tissue into the anterior chamber. The device is delivered with the amber-colored allograft carrier already extended in the loading position. Hold the device so the side printed with endoserter faces up. The device must be flushed with balanced salt solution prior to loading. Lower the bottle height to 40 centimeters. Connect irrigation tubing to the lure connection and flush with balanced salt solution. Remove excess moisture from the carrier with an absorbent sponge. Do not shake the endoserter. Stop irrigation and do not restart until the tip of the endoserter is in the anterior chamber. Allograft tissue is trefined by the surgeon to the preferred diameter. The endoserter is designed to insert tissue measuring less than or equal to 8.5 millimeters in diameter and 175 microns in central thickness. Use a spatula to move the tissue to the surface of the eye, endothelium side up. Use a cannula to free endothelial graft from the anterior cap. Set the donor tissue within the boundary of the alignment holes on the carrier. Larger diameter allografts will overhang the carrier on the open side of the alignment holes. Do not allow the donor tissue to extend past the front end of the carrier or drape below the edge of the carrier. Remove and discard the anterior cap. Once tissue is properly positioned on the carrier, remove excess moisture from around the allograft with an absorbent sponge to enhance adherence of the allograft to the carrier during loading and deployment. Apply a small amount of cohesive viscoelastic to the endothelium. Rotate the blue thumb screw in the direction of the arrow. As the tissue retracts and begins to roll, Gently tuck the overhanging tissue edge under the opposite edge. Visualize the tissue loading until complete and, if necessary, repeat tucking the exposed edge. Allografts that do not overhang the carrier will not require tucking. For thinner allografts, you will want to pre-tuck the right edge to avoid having the tissue drape over the side of the carrier. Continue rotating the blue thumb screw only in the direction indicated by the printed arrow until all action stops. Then rotate three full revolutions past the point where tissue is observed to be fully retracted. You cannot over-rotate the blue thumb screw. It will free spin. Roll the device 180 degrees so that the black deployment wheels and ocular systems ink face up. Firmly hold the black deployment wheels in position. Gently remove and discard the locking guard. Continue holding the black deployment wheels while inserting the beveled tip of the insertion sheath through the tight 4 mm incision. The deployment wheels must be held securely throughout the insertion process to avoid damage to donor tissue during insertion. Start and continue irrigation with the bottle height at 40 cm. If necessary, deepen the chamber by slowly raising the bottle height while irrigation continues to flow. Continue irrigation as the device is moved across the anterior chamber past the far edge of the stripped stromal bed. Deploy the allograft by rotating the black deployment wheels forward towards the patient and rotating the endoserter 45 degrees to the right as the graft is exposed. Roll the black deployment wheels until the allograft is completely uncovered. The endoserter uncovers the tissue allograft and the sheath will retract towards the incision during deployment. Hold the device in position as the allograft deploys. After the allograft has deployed, hold the black deployment wheels in their position and remove the device from the anterior chamber. 
discard the endoserter after use. An air bubble is placed to hold the tissue in position. For additional information, refer to the endoserter's instructions for use.